So he was like taking his top off, showing me his big fat tattoo. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, of course, it, of course it was about the tattoo. Friendly. <laughs> I'm here with Olivia Cook and Max Terriot. How are you? Good. Great. This is your first time on the on the Young Hollywood sofa. This is my first ever couch interview, actually. I think you say this is my first ever couch, and we're like, well, thank God you got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about Bates Motel now because you can afford your first sofa. And now this is it. This, this is, is it, it, guys. This is your first ever sit-down sofa interview. Yeah. Wow. With the whole lights and everything like that. Yeah. In Hollywood as well. In Hollywood. Look at that. From, Look at that view. From from and that's a real view. That's a real view. Even though it's got a screen up in front of it, it's a real view. I know. Amazing, isn't it? But Bates Motel. See, coming back for a second season. Yes. Exciting. Yeah, really exciting. It is exciting. Also quite scary, because it's a very dark, creepy-ish. And you're also <coughs> scared, like, what if it's shit compared to the first season? <laughs> but, uh, honesty. British honesty right there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared but about that? But it won't that? be. It won't be. I'm, I'm scared about that. Like, I think it's great, but right. what if everyone else thinks it's rubbish? Right. Well, the, the, the way the first scene, season went out is pretty impressive. Yeah. Always good to end with a death as well. Always good to end with a death. If someone dies, yeah. Yeah. it's always great. Then you want to know what happened. Yeah, you, you want to see how the person died. That's the key, is you yeah. kill somebody, and then everybody wants to know right. what happens to that dead person. Right, and exactly. Killed them, so. Exactly. Max, you say that with far too much conviction. <laughs> um, but it is, it's, it's coming back, and uh, can we expect, what can we expect from the second season in the way of, um, obviously you can't give us spoilers, but we will find out who killed Miss, Miss Watson. Oh, yeah, you will. Right. Um, more characters, obs. Yeah, we, uh, Kenny Johnson is in the show. Okay. Um, Kathleen Robertson. From Boss, yeah, I saw that. Um, Michael Varden. There's a lot more romance this year. In That's Facebook, nice. In the city of White Pine Bay. So there's a mix of, you know, we have a lot of weed, you okay. know, and killing sex. and sex. Right. What more do you want to <laughs> see on television? In life. <laughs> <laughs> in life, <laughs> yes. Uh, you and Bradley, is that going to be a, a coming back on the <clears> cards or? Um, well, you know, obviously, uh, after the first episode, right. we've seen uh, Bradley has sort of lost it. And I think at this point now, we realize that, um, that Dylan has kind of drawn a boundary um, as far as where their relationship can go. Um, so I can't. Okay. Okay, you can't say. So, I can't is it, say. Is it, is it worrying on a on a on a show like this because people do get killed um, <clears throat> yourselves? Like, how how far in advance do you know? Do you get like a few episodes and then you go and shoot them and then you know? Do you know at any point like someone could say and say, "Sorry, Olivia, you're doing a great job, but See back off later. to England." I'll tell you this. Pretty much, it seems like since we've started the first episode, right? That like e like yeah. maybe one person has known from the beginning that they were gonna die. And it's kind of a, a, obviously based around, well, a prequel to Psycho. It's not Psycho, but it's it's got that premise, right? Yeah, loosely okay, right. based. Loose, loosely based. Um, do you guys, you watched, because you're very young, not Max, not that you're old. <laughs> yeah. But we're getting there, let's be honest. I know, um, I know. Did you watch Psycho I'd before studied the... it in, I studied it in school, along with, you know, I'd studied it. What, I, I, no, Hitchcock. I don't. I'd okay, Hitchcock. Okay, okay, I thought you just meant in school in... they'd play you Psycho and go out in <laughs> yeah. the park. <parking> <laughs> Some birds no. go yeah. out and play in the schoolyard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I, we watched the birds as well, but then we also right. studied other filmmakers as well. So yeah, I'd seen it before, but I never felt like I had to go and re-watch it. Right. Because it was just, it's just so different. Exactly. You don't want to know that little cute Freddy is Yeah, that I'm supposed to be in love with. Yeah. yeah. Who we said, I, I said that Freddy, Freddy had been on the sofa and he was just such a nice little lad. And then in this show, it's just sad to see what has happened to him. He can't be trusted. He can't be trusted. Yeah. Um, if you could describe the second season in three words. To sell it to, to the to the fans, to the public. Only three words, though, don't try and cheat, because I will stop you. So take a moment. Sexy, psychotic, that's a word. Um, unexpected. I mean that was a boring word. That's compared good. to all the other ones. Yeah, that's very good. That yeah. was good. Yeah. He looks threatened. <laughs> yeah, those were great. Yeah. Those those were beat that Max. Uh, hardcore. Okay. Hyphen. Take that any way. <laughs> Take that any way you want it. <laughs> um, uh, surprising. I'm going to reverse that and say shocking. Okay. I'll let you take that back. And terrifying. Hardcore, shocking, and terrifying. I don't know. Sexy, psychotic, and... Unexpected. That's enough to sell a show. And naked. Yeah. You've got it? set the seven. 
I would have thrown that in there though. That it's always seven. Mistake. Should have thrown nudity. It's in always there. seven. Yeah. Definitely Boobies. should have thrown nudity yeah. in there. Um, and your, just quickly, your story of getting the part, you put you just put an audition <clears throat> on tape, correct? Yeah, I just, um, I did a film in England and then my manager in America, she sent me Bates Motel to put on tape. And then it was my first time ever doing an American accent and it was, oh, I've watched it back and it's horrid. It's so bad. It can't be that it's bad. It's so bad. I don't know how I got hired. And then yeah, three weeks later, they, my agent rang me and was just like, you, you've got the, got the role. You're wow. moving out to Vancouver in a week. And that was it. And that, that was the first time you met everyone as well when you, when you came to set. Yeah, so I was convinced they were going to send me back. Was Max the nicest to, to be friendly? I remember the first time I met Max, he was like taking his top off, showing me his big back tattoo. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, of course, it, of course it was about the tattoo. Friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Any excuse. I saw, oh, him, I, saw him, I saw him at Coffee Bean the other day and he's like, can I get a cappuccino? I'm like, what are you doing, Max? He goes, it's, like, it's hot in here. He's just, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Max is getting a little bit strange. Um, he's got that look in his eyes, so I'm going to wrap this up. Bates Motel, A&E, watch it. I mean, for these guys alone, because they're still alive, they'll still be watchable. Maybe.